Hello everyone, welcome back to Rip City Rundown, and today we are breaking down the 8-9 matchup in the East region between the Memphis Tigers and the Florida Atlantic Owls. Should be a fascinating game, two mid-major programs. Memphis is more of a better team because they play in the American, while Florida Atlantic plays in Conference USA. But both teams will be fighting for a trip to play, most likely Purdue, in the second round. Let's break down this matchup. Memphis is 26-8. and they went 13-5 and five in the American Athletic Conference, otherwise known as the AAC, and they finished second in the conference. However, they won the AAC championship earlier today. They defeated the number one team in the nation, the Houston Cougars. This team is led by star guard Kendrick Davis at 21.8 points per game. This team plays very fast. They're 17th in tempo. This team can get hot as well. They're 26th in the, co- 26th in the country in points per game. And right now, they're just one of the hottest teams and one of the best teams in college basketball right now, and they are looking to make a run at this tournament. They're coached by the legendary player Penny Hardaway, and they have a lot of things going for them right now. On the other side, Florida Atlantic, 31-3. and They are also a great offensive team. They are 36th in the country in points per game. Memphis slightly edges them in that department. Their leading scorer is Jonell Davis at 13.5 points per game. Florida Atlantic doesn't have a lot of star players, but they have a lot of players who know their role and play effectively together. This team won 30 games. They went 31-3. and three. They did win their conference. They went 18-2 and two in the Conference USA, and they won the conference tournament, like I just said. They are a 9 seed, which is very high for a team coming out of the Conference USA, but again, this team won 31 games. They went 31-3. and three. Uh, For those of you familiar with Ken Palm, Florida Atlantic is the 25th ranked team in that metric, which is very high for mid-major. In other words, this Florida Atlantic team is good enough to be ranked. I know they didn't play the hardest schedule in the world, at least when compared to Memphis, but this team is scary and they know how to win games. A few few nuggets for both teams. Like I said, Memphis plays really, really fast. They're 17th in tempo, while Florida Atlantic is 126th. This could be a big factor because Memphis has, let's just face it, they have better athletes, they've played a tougher schedule, they've really cut their teeth against teams like Houston and UCF and Tulane. Um... So Memphis has the edge in that department. They also have the best player on the floor in Kendrick Davis. Florida Atlantic has great role players. They're not role players. They have a great team fit, great chemistry. But Kendrick Davis is going to be the best player on the floor here for Memphis. Both teams take care of the basketball. Uh, One thing I like to look at when it comes to March Madness in these bracket games is the turnover percentage. Both teams are very low. They don't turn the ball over a lot. Uh, Both teams take care of the ball. Now, Memphis may be turning it over a little more because they run a lot. They're 17th in tempo. Um, A key for Florida Atlantic is going to be to try to turn Memphis over, and they're going to have to box out. Memphis is bigger. They have better athletes. Florida Atlantic is going to have to play a very clean game. Here's my prediction. Right now, the spread, the opening line, this will definitely change by the time most of you people are watching this video. But the spread is Memphis minus 2.5, and and that's what I'm going to roll with. I'm going to take Memphis minus 2.5. I think they're just playing extremely well right now. They just knocked off Houston by double digits today in the AAC Championship, who Houston is a big favorite for many people to cut down the nets in Houston. So Memphis is playing with a lot of confidence, a lot of swagger. They have the best player on the floor, and I believe they're the better team in this matchup. Give me Memphis minus 2.5. See you next time.